girls top buttons and shirts tucked in it's the first sheet so the sheet with the sauce on it it look free teacher Elizabeth it should look Bond a little bit like six this. weeks into her NQT year okay, you have at first her year tens were a real handful so she focused yeah, on strict behavior management did you leave but it at here? a cost Right, I'll have, a look, I'll have a quick look for it. Dangus, you've got work to do. I came in and wanted to do lots of really interesting, exciting things with them, and it, um, it just really it excited them so much that I sort of lost control of class a bit behaviourally for a little while. So I had to then really tone it down. I literally wanted bums on seats, yeah. and I wanted to establish a learning environment that I felt I could work in. But it is boring. Today's question is, what were the consequences of the Wall Street crash? Remember, It's our all big so much slower and less exciting than Elizabeth would like it to be. No, Tess, you've written the date and title in your book. I'd like that in your books now, please. No, you can just write the second one, because we wrote the first one last lesson, didn't we? No, you can just write the second one. What were the consequences of the Wall Street crash? Shh. Where is all the time going? Well, it's kind of interesting, isn't yeah, it? I wonder where it is going. What are they all doing now? Well, they're writing the title, but it is taking a remarkably long time to do it. And it's all these, all these little questions. Should I write the learning objective? No. And then someone else puts their hand up. Should I write the learning objective? No. There's another kind of classroom that I sometimes see going around. The whole lesson plan is up on the whiteboard. Mm. And then at regular intervals, the teachers return with the learning objectives. It's great, we got to the end of activity two, and we got to the end of activity two with 20 minutes to spare. And I'm, I've, got the, um, I've got the clock on the board. You've got to do those add-ins, you know, the, the timers and the clocks and the whistles and all that kind of stuff. Absolutely. So you've got, you've got two really, really good points there. It's a mixed ability class with differentiated worksheets. Some students are working, but it's hard for Elizabeth to keep them all on top. I want you to explain to me how they are linked together. So if you're saying that the Wall Street crash relates to the banking crisis. Right! What's going on there? The work's differentiated, they can do it. Mm. I wonder if they know what's expected. Somewhere else in the country, there's a teacher saying, by the time you finish this, you have a chart completely filled in uh, that looks like this. And I think this is gonna take five minutes. And five minutes after the work started, that teacher's gone around, she's picked up someone's work and says, this is what we're talking about. Ahmed's uh, got three blocks filled in and listen to some of the phrasing that he's used. Yeah. So that for me, the, the, the first step with a group like this is they need some exemplars. They need mm. to know what the su success yes. criteria is. Yeah, they need to see the fox or whatever the right analogy is. They need to know what it is that's expected of them. Up on the board, I have, um, I have two characters. Um, I call them... Sid and Sam, you can call them whatever you like. As you can see, I'm a Later I'm the in the lesson, Elizabeth artist. uses a cartoon um, to help the students assess you know, their learning. Got a lot of money in the bank, like but as usual, time, but she keeps a very firm artist. lid on the behaviour. Um, Listen. <laughs> <laughs> There's absolutely no reason for you to be talking at the moment. Okay, so I need everybody really, really focused. I'm going to ask you to do this quietly on your own. Yeah, I just, I just right, can I reiterate year 10? Nobody oh, should be talking. I think I'm meant to be doing it in silence. But if I was doing a Sid and Sam, I'd really like to be <laughs> swapping some jokes and ideas yeah. with the person sitting okay. next to me. I think I'm suggesting to you that you take a bit more risk, which again is an easy thing for an outsider to say. You're probably going to have to have a talk with them as a class. This is what we're going to be looking like by, by spring. This is the contribution I'm going to make to it. Here are some changes I'm going to make to my lesson planning. What changes do you think you're going to make to it? And you've got, and this is the first time we're going to do it. Here are the groups I've got you in, and I want three minutes worth of suggestions on how we're going to make the learning even faster and better in this room. What would they do? Would they riot and go out of control? Um, no, I don't think they would now, particularly if I put them in groups myself. If I said to you, I want you to pick up the pace, and you said, OK, I'll give it a bash. What, would be, what might be your top two things now? I think I need, I need to establish time constraints. I think I need to be really clear about what I'm asking from them so they know exactly what I expect them to have done in five minutes. Um, and perhaps I like the idea of, of stopping them periodically and saying, OK, well, by this point, we should be around about here. And this is a particularly good example of where you should be at by now.